We are following major developments in the growing political crisis in Venezuela. Its president severed diplomatic relations with the U.S. after President Trump backed an opposition leader who's claimed the presidency. The standoff comes amid rising violence. Seven people were killed yesterday during massive protests demanding President Nicolas Maduro step down. Security forces used tear gas and water cannons against the demonstrators. Major Garrett is at the White House with more on this developing story. Major, good morning to you. Good morning. It has long been a priority of this White House and bipartisan voices in Congress to pressure Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro to step down. Now the White House has formally backed opposition leader Juan Guaido. Now, bloodshed and violence, repression already exist in Venezuela, but this move carries the risk of still more. Now, sources tell CBS News Guaido swore himself in as interim president yesterday and is now in hiding in the capital city of Caracas. The 35-year-old Guaido is head of the National Assembly, regarded by most international observers as the last remaining democratic institution in the country. Now, the U.S. and most world powers see Maduro as a dictator and regard his recent re-election nothing more than a sham. To ramp up pressure, the administration is considering sanctioning Venezuela's lucrative oil exports. Maduro still has major backers on the world stage, namely China and Russia. It is unclear how deep his support runs among Venezuela's military or federal police. Venezuela is in the midst of a massive humanitarian crisis, the worst by far in the hemisphere. Food and medicine are scarce and violence on the streets rampant. Now, Maduro says the U.S. has 72 hours to remove its embassy personnel. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said because the United States does not recognize Maduro as legitimate, that order will be ignored. The president said in 2017, 2018, and again yesterday, all options are on the table to support the opposition. John? All right, Major, thank you. I saw one fact, inflation in Venezuela up 1 million percent. Money, paper, just it's worthless. It's a huge story. Yeah. It's a huge story. We'll continue to cover it.